Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Isto, and this is my single player Minecraft World. This is episode number 22 of the Zisto Plays Minecraft Experience. And it seems like a little bit of a fog has rolled in off of the bay. Or maybe it's because we've been pouring all of this water down. I wonder, maybe maybe I heated the water up somehow. There's like some furnaces I forgot that I installed. And we've been pouring this heated water all over the landscape. And it's raised a ton of fog. Can't see a damn thing with all this fog. I didn't think there was weather effects in the game at this point. But apparently there was. Or maybe I just hit the F key. Aha. Oh, that's better. Now we can see. Okay, let's let the land load in. So I've been working on some infrastructure type stuff today. And what I'd like to do with today's episode is to walk around and take a look at the stuff I worked on, show you what I did. And then we're going to look for a site project for the next big build we're gonna do. So I really enjoyed making the Rift House, uh, which is right over there, this way. I really enjoyed making that. It was a good change of pace. Good to get a different uh, little change of scenery every now and then. And so we're going to look for a new place to build something. And of course, we'll be coming back here to work on things here as well. I just thought might be good to have a new project. And that project is going to be, uh, if I can find a suitable, let me just put a caveat here. The project is going to be, if I can find the right amount of space with the right kind of geological features I'm looking for, it's going to be the Piggy Temple. We're going to try to rebuild it. Think about it anyway. But first, what I've been working on is expanding the aqueducts once again. So here's how the network stands. We're standing in the center of the world. This is the Alpha Valley. This is the tower base. Eventually, when we have the ability to build all the way to 256 in Z elevation, we're going to have a huge tower here looking over our world. The terrain changes 256 blocks that way from Alpha 1.1 terrain to Alpha 1.2 terrain. And we're, we have an aqueduct system encasing all that. So, so far, the aqueduct extends all the way to the border that way and that way. That's, this is the first one we did. And this way, this is the newest one I just built. And it goes all the way through the mountain the whole way. So there's no supports on this side. And I've connected it up to the corners, out this way, all the way across there, and all the way across there. And as well, I've built this one. This one was built a while ago. So really, the only ones left to build, thank goodness, because it's getting tedious, it is a big grind, and I'm kind of sick of it, so we're going to take a break from it for a little bit, but we'll get back to it. The only stuff left to build is this section to connect to the corner over there, and then to make this long section, and then to connect to that one. So we're getting there. I'm more than halfway done. I haven't done all the detailing either, but I've done a lot of the work. And that's going to be our transportation system uh, for the alpha terrain. Once we get into beta, we'll do something else. I think we get boosters in beta 1.2 or 1.3, like the real, mine cr the real boosters that are powered by redstone. Oh, look, it's our friend the chicken. Uh, I think we get that one then, so I might make a minecart system for the next set of terrain that we explore outwards. Uh, someone was saying that maybe I should do the thing where instead of expanding outward in all four directions, we only go one direction for one given terrain type, and then we'll have like uh, one terrain here, one terrain there, one terrain there, one terrain there. We might do that. That's kind of uh, a little ways off. I'm not in any rush to uh, to update to, to new patches. I'm still having lots of fun in the alpha patches. So uh, as long as I'm not getting bored, I'm not in any hurry to catch up. But I don't really have a time uh, like a timetable or a schedule for when we're going to do these updates. Okay, so here's the new here's the new border. Uh, there's no detailing, so there's no column thing with the water here. And this goes through the mountain all the way until right there. So there won't be any columns between here and the center, which actually is nice because I don't have to build them. Although tunneling the, all the way through that was not fun. Here you can see the edge. It looks like I stitched two pictures together. There's the edge. I have to build it that way. 
Uh, we can take a look around. So what, what I'm going to be looking for, for the Piggy Temple, is the right conditions. The original one was built on an island, and it's sort of projected out into the water a bit. The, the idea was that it was an old ruin, and the land had sort of changed a little bit of time. Some erosion had happened, and, you know, the wind the wind had shifted and blown uh, sand or whatever up against one side, and then eventually trees had grown there. And so it looked a little bit abandoned. That was the idea, because it's based on super old Buddhist temples in, Tha in, in Thailand, uh, among other things. That was like one of the sources for the inspiration. So what I'm looking for, it's going to be, if we find an appropriate spot, in the alpha terrain, the alpha 1.2 terrain, and I like, I would like it to be directly facing one of these aqueducts coming out directly from the center, I think. Yeah, I think that'll be the, the plan. So I'm looking for, for instance, this isn't quite going to work because it would be like right up in your face. We'd be looking right at the pig's face. <laughs> and the pig would be about at this level. It's gigantic. I don't think that's going to work. That's We need a little bit more water. I'm pretty sure one of the edges has water. I brought a bunch of boats. I haven't put any water in this section yet. Uh, so I did some measuring. I have a version of the Piggy Temple still on an old save file. Like I have the second version, the rebuilt version, from my old series Life on Bagoda, my first multiplayer series from a long time ago, where we rebuilt it. And I still have the original Piggy Temple video, so I have references. I've thought about redesigning it. Uh, we'll see what happens once we actually get to making it. That's very dramatic, the change in terrain. Look at this. And then look at that. Totally different. So I went and measured it. The base of the Piggy Temple is uh, 82 blocks wide. That's how wide it is. So that is, what, five chunks? Five chunks wide, and it is 128 blocks long, which is um, 10 chunks, I think. No, eight chunks. It's eight chunks long, and then there's sort of like a little entrance area that projects out from it where you walk up into it, and then there's a very simple docks connected to that. So in total, the base of the thing is 82 blocks wide, by 157 blocks long. So basically 10 chunks long, uh, five, five chunks wide. Two by one proportions, huge. It's really big. And it's gonna take to just mountains and mountains of stone. I'm very low on stone. Because of all of the slabs I've, I've used to make this stuff. So I won't be able to begin construction right now. This island, maybe. That might actually be appropriate. I don't know if I want it right next to the rift, though. I would like it to be a little bit more isolated. I've also been thinking... Oh, we, we can get in a boat. This will be a little bit faster. Uh, I've been thinking... And the sun's going to set, dang it. I've been thinking about um, sort of long-term what this place is going to look like. And I would like to at some point get an overviewer map so that you guys can take a look at overall progress... Uh, online from a, an above, a, an above like isometric view. I know that uh, Kurt Kurt J Mack, who makes Farlands or Bus, he for a long time I don't know if he still does because the files got so big, but he had, um, he had his Farlands or Bus map on an overviewer, and that's in beta one point seven point three. I'm not sure what version of uh, Minecraft is compatible with an overviewer website map. The 1.7.3 that Kurt plays in is, let's see, that's in the McRegion format, MCR. We're now in the in the current version of Minecraft, not in this one right here, in the, uh, we're in, my, in the Anvil format, MCA, dot MCA is what the maps are called. The version I'm in is still in the classic version, which I kind of doubt is compatible. But I've been looking forward to being able to upload this to a to an overviewer website. And so I'm thinking about what all this stuff is going to look like when you can see like all the aqueduct network connecting and 
the tower sticking out of the ground and all that kind of stuff. So I'm sort of, I'm building all this infrastructure with the mind that uh, eventually we'll be able to see everything at once. This is possible, I guess. It's not much of an island. The whole thing would be, oops, dang it. That's why I bought a, brought a bunch of boats. It would be sticking out of the water, mostly. This island is quite too small. So if I made it right here, like the docks would be right here, I guess. You could really just walk there because of that. Maybe we'd, we wouldn't need the docks. But there is a lot of water there. I'm not so sure about that. Uh, okay, so that's, we just looked at three out of four. Let's head back to the base and let's go. We've got one more option. If, we're, if I want to have it directly at the end of one of these branches of the aqueduct system, let's get in a boat, that's faster. Oh gosh, come on, come on. Come on, but come on guy. Okay, let's go check out the other section. Come all the way back. This is uh, this is quite a bit faster than walking. Oh, I don't always miss the sprint button, but since I've been uh, making these big networks, I have missed the sprint button just a bit. Okay, here we come back to. Oh, oh great, that's fine. Whatever. And the the last branch doesn't have any water at all, and I don't remember what it looks like out there. I've repaired some of the damage I did last time blowing the hell out of myself. And we will return to work on all that kind of stuff along and along. I think each time, uh, what did I calculate? Like it was 8,000 slabs or something placing per section of this. I'm a little bit sick of placing slabs, so I'm looking for other things to do. One thing we can do is continue working on the tower and the patch museum. We've got to open up space. For one thing, we got to open up space for the next patches. Because uh, we're going to get a lot of blocks in the next couple patches. We're going to get all the colored wool and whatnot. And I need to start working on the area beneath the stuff we've already built. All right, let's come up here. Here we go. Is this the edge? Did I build it all the way to the edge? Is that the, that's the edge of the train right there. Okay, we're almost there. Yeah, this is not suitable at all. This is exactly wrong. This is land to land with very little water. Well, I've done rings around my area, around the Alpha Valley. I've done maybe two or three rings taking a look at all the terrain. Oops, and I think I've, I've changed my mind a Dang it. Inventory's full, that's okay, no big deal. Let's get rid of that boat. Anyway, do I have any more? I have one left. All right, we only need one more, that's fine. So, uh, I was thinking about it. The original Piggy Temple, the sun rose behind it and it's set in front of it. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn it 90 degrees. This is actually exactly how it was laid out in the original world. The original world I built the thing in like five years ago. Has it been five years? Holy cow. I had a tower at the center, kind of like this. And if you walked straight out and turned right, you would be facing it. And that is exactly the right uh, position for it to be in. And I think this is kind of appropriate right here. So it's going to occupy this land. It's going to make all of this kind of look like... Here, let's go ahead and go down there. Joosh! And plop, plop the boat. Okay, so all of this land here is going to get taken over. I need to do some measuring. You can see this is where I've uh, been chopping down trees. When we were building the rift over there. Oh, it's so nice looking. And the leaf decay is still broken. It's going to be broken until beta 1.2 or something like that. Uh, but I think right about here, I need to do some measuring. Okay, so let's do some measuring. The thing needs to be 82 blocks wide. It's huge. So let's see. What are we doing here? We're going... 
on the x coordinate 780. Okay, let's say so. So if this is 780, let's just get say that that tree is one edge, 780. So we need to go all the way to 862. That'll be how wide the thing is. And I think what I'll do is I'll once I figure out like uh, the layout, I'm just gonna make a big rectangle. So we can get an idea and then we'll go back up there and see what that looks like. There's a boat. Did my boat, oh my God, you see that? That's a boat. It drifted all the way. I wondered what happened to it. The boat that was just chronically drifting slowly away from the rift has gotten all the way out here. That's amazing. Okay, where are we? Uh, 62, yeah, so to about right here. I think that may actually work. That means that all this water in the middle is going to be covered by the temple. So it's gonna look like this land just goes kind of continuously over to there and the piggy temple interrupts it. Sits in between it, I think that's gonna work. Okay, yeah, let's do that. So I'm gonna set up a little house here with some basic storage, a little workshop so that we can, uh, you know, hide from monsters at night. Although I typically tend not to do that because it's a big waste of time. We can't use beds, obviously. So let's set it up right about here. We're, we're quite close to the rift, but I'm still gonna do it here. And there goes the last boat. Okay, and I don't have enough slabs. Let's make a crafting bench. And now we can pick that up, sort of. Uh, let's make two, three, four, storage. There we go. Okay, and now I can pick up that, right? No, no, still can't. Okay, fine. Let's put a lot of this in here. I'm gonna have to ferry a lot of stuff over here. Actually, now that I think about it, I probably have tons of cobblestone left at the rift. Hollowing out all that stuff, I ended up with a lot more cobblestone because we're building everything out of wood. So everything that, uh, everything I hollowed out, actually I want to keep this stuff. Let's put the slabs and most of the wood and the dirt in there. Um, we're going to need this to make the rectangle. Big rectangle. But I bet I have a ton of cobblestone in there that I never used. So maybe we'll use that at least to get going. Okay, so 80 blocks. 80 blocks. That tree might get chopped down. Let's say that it starts here. Oh, let me make some signs so I can write down stuff to remind myself what we're doing. That's probably a good tool. Okay, let's make six. Six signs. Is that enough? So we need six times three, yes. Mm, maybe. Oh, and they don't stack, right, of course. Aha, aha, exactly enough. Okay, good. So let's say that it's gonna start right here, okay. So this is 780. Okay, x equals 780. Or is it negative? I think it's negative 780. Yes, okay, 780. So we need to go 62 blocks over. Good, all right. So I'll basically, let's get, uh, let's just put 61 blocks because it's 62 blocks total, so this is already one. So when this runs out, that's the total width, but I want it, oh, I also want it to sort of jut out that way a bit. Because it's gonna look like the landscape, once we, we've overtaken landscape, it kind of does this, and then connects over to there. So let's have this come out. Maybe, yeah, about about to there. We can change this later. 
Uh, changing water, by the way, is super annoying in this patch. We are a long way from the water working properly. And to fix it, you've got to do things like that. You've got to place a block above it. And if I take the water source, it's not going to fix itself unless there's blocks immediately beneath it. They fixed that. I'm so glad they fixed that in the modern version of the game, but it's not fixed in this version. Okay, so let's just say we'll go... Let's start, let's start moderately, because the further we go out, the harder it'll be to fix these mistakes. Um, so let's just start here, and if this looks like it's not sticking out far enough, then that's okay. Did I... One, two, three, four. That would make this 50. Or 60. 58, 59, 60, 61, 62. Okay, I was mixing the stacks. I want to make sure that this is the right width. All right, here we go. All the way out to 861. So we've gone 82 blocks. We started at 580, right? X equals negative uh, 861. Is that right? 861, 861. Good. All right, let me complete this rectangle out to here. Then we'll go back up top, see what that looks like. And up, up, and away. Away we go. Up to the aqueduct system. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Let's get out at this point. Yeah. Yeah, I think that uh, works. I may have it stick out just a little bit farther. I'm going to have to look at some screenshots. That's how wide it is. It's going to go all the way back to like there. So we won't even be able to see the whole thing from here. But that feels right. That feels good. I agree with these things. Okay, I'm going to leave this boat here. Actually, let's bring it over there. Let's go to the rift and take a look. It's been a while since we've been there. Let's see if I have any cobblestone. If we do, then I can put a bunch of chests over there and at least get our storage ready so that when I'm ready to start work on the thing, when I've decided exactly where everything's going to be, then we'll be ready to go. Let's go down this way. There's the other boat. Oh, I don't know where that boat way over there came from then. And probably wouldn't hurt to bring over some food. Or maybe I'll just murder some random pigs. Okay, haven't been here in a while. I haven't had the music on in a while either. Every once in a while, I like to turn it on. Uh, wheat farm is still fine if I want to use that for food instead of pork chops Okay, let's see. What do we got here tools plants ores stone? Oh, yes Perfection oh Look at all that okay, we're gonna need a lot of slabs too and a lot of smooth stone the gravel will be good for filling in the water in the middle I can use all of this. Okay, crafted. I will take those 11 chests. Let's leave one. And let's take two furnaces over. For what for whatever use I might find for them. Uh, I already have a nice supply of wood. Should we take the clock over? Do I have gold? No. I, I think I took all the gold back to the house. Okay, yeah, let's get uh, the grout. It's going to take a bunch of trips. Oh, something's splashing. So let's just stock up on the stone. Okay. Yes, that is awesome news. I totally forgot about all of that. I probably have a bunch of coal in those furnaces up there. All right, let's go take a look. Or not take a look. Let's go uh, place down some chests and set up a tiny little house. All right, I guess that'll do. 
little log cabin type thing for the uh, the build storage, basically, just to put all the blocks in. Probably we'll tear it down once the build is done. It'll it'll get us done. It'll get us there. It's kind of ugly. I, I may make some improvements if it bugs me enough. There's no windows, for instance. Uh, but there we go. I'm going to now make some trips back and forth, ferrying over some stone and gravel and all, all the other stuff we saw there. That'll do it for this episode. Uh, see you next time. I'll leave your comments below. The next large build has begun. See you later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.